better before than after. This is AFC RD TV, our final score today here at Hayden Road. AFC Russian Diamonds nil. Rush. Oh, rush oh, all the way. Rush, you're the professional. Rub, 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 rub. Too no, many no, rushes no, here. Any. <laughs> take two, take two. Go on then. So here on AFC RD TV, sorry to say it finishes Diamonds nil, Rush All Olympic two. The man of the match is Nathan Hicks. And uh, Nathan, just a tough day at the office today for Diamonds. Yeah, it's just one of them days, and obviously we've been on a good good run at the minute. It's, I think we, start, we started off well. We had a few chances to, um, in the first like 10, 15 minutes, and um, obviously we couldn't score. And just for, just for half time, sucker punch, and they've, they've gone and scored, and it's just put uh, down on it. So, yeah, then obviously they've got the second goal in the second half. We've huffed and puffed, but obviously one of them days, this won't go in for us. Do you know? So I thought Diamonds did start off rightly the uh, first five or ten minutes. You did have a c couple of good scoring opportunities, but then uh, sadly it just went downhill after that. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. So when you're on top in these kind of games, you've got to take your chances. And obviously, I don't think these these ain't won in a, in a few games, so they're they're obviously going to be up for it as well. And obviously, when they've got that first goal, they've obviously got their backs against. Um, and we've got our backs against the wall, and that. Do you know what I mean? But it's, like you say, it's one of them games, and we won't go in, go in, go in, go in for us. And they've obviously won the game two 0 Do you know what I mean? You see what it means to them. They've won. Feels like they won the league. Like <laughs> I believe this is uh, Rushall's only second away win of the season. So they have to be proud of that. But at least if we go in at halftime, nil-nil, we're still in it, of course. But uh, they had a sucker punch, penalty scoring, uh, like in the first of uh, three added minutes at the end of the first half. Yeah, yeah. So, so, I mean, we've had a few chances. Like we said, had Jack Ashton in the first half, and he had, he had a head off against come off the post. And second half, he's had, we could have had a claim for a penalty. But it's just one of the games. And we've um, obviously lost today, but we'll go again Tuesday against Chenix and we'll get, go and get the, um, get the run going again. It's very cold and a windy afternoon as well. Did weather play havoc with the team possibly, or you can't really use that as an excuse? Yeah, you can't really use it as an excuse, really. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, they've, they've fought and battled today. And do you know what I mean? They've got the one and deservedly. And maybe in the end you could say, do you know what I mean? But like you say, we go again Tuesday and we pick ourselves up and do you know I mean? get going, go again and again. Uh, we know uh, Liam Dolman uh, was not in the game today, I believe, on uh, paternity leave. So we wish uh, Bully the best uh, with the family there. But uh, we missed Bully today, didn't we? Yeah, you know, you know Bully anyway. You know Bully's a, he's a big presence at the back. Do you know what I mean? But obviously, like you say, he's gone away hopefully for the birth of his child today. So wishing the best of luck there. So, yeah, we can't, we can't use, use Bully as an excuse. Do you know what I mean? We've all got 11 players on the pitch. You know what I mean? We've got to do ourselves. People that come in have got to do the job. I thought everyone done the job today. But like you say, it just weren't that meant to be our day, was it? Well, I trust uh, you are enjoying your time here uh, this season with Diamonds. Uh, how did it come about that you joined AFC Russian Diamonds? Yeah, yeah, obviously I was at Biggest Way last year and um, it, it came along in the summer to come down here. And um, obviously Russian Diamonds is close to my home. It's, I literally train like two minutes from my house, do you know what I mean? And I know, I know mo most of the boys here and Pete's here and Lamy, do you know what I mean? A great run club. Everyone, everyone's all got a good word to say about it. I mean, hopefully we'll have good success in the future with them. And uh, this is your uh, dubious honor. First time you've got to be interviewed by yours truly. Uh, I'd like to ask players, uh, maybe growing up uh, as a kid, who was a team that you, uh, a player that you admired, and uh, who was uh, your uh, favorite team growing up? Um, I'm, I'm a Liverpool supporter, actually. Obviously, I like a midfielder. I like, I've always um, liked Stephen Gerrard. Oh, Stevie G. Yeah, Stevie G. He's a midfielder, box to box midfielder. Do you know what I mean? I like to break things up. I like to, I like to him. Do you know what I mean? So. You never know one day I'll play in a Premier like him, eh? Well, yeah, maybe you'll be a manager one day too. So. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks. Uh, I know it's a difficult game, uh, Nathan, but best of luck the rest yeah. of the season. 
Yeah, cheers then. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Thanks, Bruce and Nathan. I'm now here with manager Andy Peaks. Andy, um, when we've had some good results, really, been on the good run. Obviously, very disappointed though today. Yeah, disappointed, obviously, to lose to. I mean, you're going to be disappointed, are you? If I wasn't, I'd have a problem myself, wouldn't I? So, yeah, disappointed. Um, thought we could get some out of the game, um, and obviously, we haven't. Um, you obviously had some news uh, with Bully missing. Um, hopefully, everything's okay with his family. Yeah, obviously, the baby was good chance it could be today so it was the ideal thing he had to stay with her really which was the right thing to do I spoke to him this morning um, and yeah like I said we give him our best wishes hopefully they've had the baby or it's on its way so yeah that, that was that so it meant we brought Jack in which is not a massive problem yeah so we in fact Jack had the best chance didn't he in the, the first minutes hit the post and that would have been a different story yeah no he, had a, he got up really well at the far post hit the, you know hit the post didn't it so it would have been nice to get an early lead um, I thought we huffed and puffed really for a lot of the game I thought first half we had some good opportunities on the counter and the final ball weren't good enough in, in the final third, so that was disappointing. Yeah, I mean, they reminded me, going back to our uh, Northern Premier days, it reminded me of a Northern Premier, very athletic and uh, very physical, and at times we didn't seem to be uh, able to cope with it. No, I thought they'd they come and did the job I thought they would. They were very organised. Like you said, they competed for every first and second ball. Um, quite looked quite dangerous from set pieces, which I knew they would do. Um, but say it's more about us. I just thought we didn't pass the ball well enough. We went a bit too long. Um, and didn't create enough chances. And disappointed with the first goal. I think uh, we thought it was a foul on Jack, and uh, obviously he was penalised for the foul as he fell over. Yeah, I thought it was, a, it was a definite foul our way, and it was a key area, a key time, wasn't it? So yeah, I wasn't happy with that decision because um, that's you know right just before half time, and they go a goal up, which makes a, a massive difference. You know, this this league is fine margins, uh, and, and it, it made a big difference. Yeah. Good delivery, good uh, finish obviously from the centre half and then second half we came out, we seemed to be uh, getting a little bit on top and then we gave a soft goal away. Yeah, we, 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 we knew we were still in the game at 1-0, um, I knew we'd get chances, I knew we'd get spells of possession and um, we did do that and you say you, you keep staying in the game and the second goal you know, made it doubly difficult. And uh, I know you made a big substitution, didn't quite make much difference really did it? No, sometimes I thought Shanks did alright when he came on to be honest, I thought we changed it really, it was a little bit unfortunate on him really if I'm being honest because he's done well in the games but the system suited Albie probably with the two wide players to try and pass the ball. Um, so it was harsh on Shanks but as he always does he come fighting back and I thought he'd done quite well when he came on. Um, yeah, the other substitutions probably not. We changed the shape for the last 15 minutes to try and get some out of the game. Went 4-4-2, but they managed the game really well the last 20 minutes. Something we can learn. It's not pretty on the eye, but they went down a lot and got a lot of free kicks and, and killed the last 15 minutes to stop any momentum. So uh, obviously uh, we'll put this behind us. The run comes to an end, and it's really how you pick up from this, really. Yeah, that's what we've just said. Now you know we've, you know we've been on a great little run. Um, it's important now we dust ourselves down. You know they're a decent team. They'll beat a lot of teams, so it's not the end of the world. Um, for me, it's how we bounce back, starting Tuesday. And any thoughts about the County Cup against Chenix? Yes, as I said, it's the next one to bounce back and I want to win Tuesday. And we uh, play squad or will you play the first team? The first team is a squad. Yeah, but will you make changes? Depends. You're not going to answer that question, are you? I don't know. At the moment, mate, I'm still hurting about today because I'm disappointed because we're better than that. Um, but yeah, Tuesday's the next game and I'll think about it over the next couple of games. But yeah, there's boys who deserve an opportunity and there's boys who need a rest. I get that. But for me... I want to be winning on Tuesday, ready to go for a massive game next Saturday, and I'll pick a team based on that. And of course, next Saturday, FA Trophy, big game, Witten, uh, we remember the semi final. Uh, it's going to be tough, isn't it? Yep, yeah, it is going to be a tough game next Saturday, but I think, you know, the level we're playing football at now, they're all tough games, so I expect that all the time. And Tuesday against Chenix will be no different because they're going to come here with nothing to lose. Like you said, it's a cup game, um, we want to get through it. Um, so that's my next thing. All right, mate, let you go. Cheers, mate. I don't need love.